Hello YouTubers, welcome to another video from Techie SMS. In this video, we will learn how to make project using bone conduction technology. In this video, we will make a bone conduction headphone, a bone conduction speaker and a bone conduction smart band. So let's get started. Okay, for those who don't know what is this bone conduction technology about, uh, I will brief you a brief all of you about what is this technology I've written a blog on that on my website you can you know go ahead and visit my website techasms.com to know everything about this project and this technology okay so this is the bone conduction technology I have I've written a brief of a paragraph like that so a human ear uh, you know can be divided into two two types uh, two type of ear that is outer ear and inner ear the outer ear is considered as an eardrum through which we normally hear the drum vibrates and we are able to hear and another ear is called as inner ear which is called as cochlea the vibrations from the outer ear let's zoom this image okay so this is not as much clear okay but this vibration from this uh, outer ear that is through the air canal the vibrations goes and this vibrations uh, strikes to this cochlea and this cochlea will give signals to our brain and through this we can hear but if we are able to transmit this vibration directly to cochlea and then also we can hear the same sound as we are hearing from the eardrums. So this is the bone conduction technology in which we directly transmit the vibrations to the cochlea and uh, through that we can hear the music or the sound or anything. So there is no role of eardrum in this bone conduction technology. Uh, now how we can transmit the vibration? We are transmitting the vibrations uh, through our skull or the bone part of our head. The skull here acts as a resonating cavity. Let's reset to default. Okay, so here you can see the picture. Here the first picture, the all the four pictures you can observe that the vibrations are sent through a part of a uh, part of the skull. So the skull will uh, vibrate, and this vibrations will go to cochlea, and then it will transmit it to the brain. And likewise, we are able to hear. So this is the bone conduction technology. So let's start with making the bone conduction headphone. So I need a thing which uh, you know vibrates when given the electrical signals. So when I uh, you know thought about this, uh, the two components come in, uh, came into my mind. There is motors and the piezo transducers. So both are such a thing, uh, such a electronic components that vibrate when given the electrical signals. I tried out with the motors, but uh, you know didn't find the expected results using motors. So I opted for the piezo transducers for our project. So this is the piezo transducers. These are the electrical components which are given the electrical signals, they vibrate. Uh, okay, so link of this uh, piezo transducer is given in the blog as well as in the video also. You can click that and uh, buy that pack of five. You will get the five piezo transducers from Amazon. Okay, so the first model which I tried is a directly connected piezo transducers with the 3.5 mm aux cable as you can see in the image. This also can be termed as a bone conduction headphone, but the problem is that we are able to hear a very less sound, you know, the negligible sound. So you need to sit in a silent room and then you will be able to hear the little voice. So the thing which is required to make this uh, more <coughs> like a, uh, make this more like a real headphone, we need a required amplifier and for that amplifier I have used this PAM. 8403 class D stereo amplifier so with this I have given the input uh, so this is the circuit yes uh, let's assume I have given the input from the audio jack this audio jack will go to the you know phone or laptop or anywhere so this 3.5 mm jack uh, I have um, taken out the two cables one is the you know termed as a positive another as a ground which is called a common ground uh, this is a stereo amplifier but I have particularly turned into mono because this audio jack was not at all supporting the stereo in my phone I'm using the Samsung phone so I need to do it for mono only so this go this uh, common channel goes to both in right and left channel and this ground goes to the, the bigger cable or we can the bigger head bigger leg and uh, we need to provide the 5 volts so I will attach the 7805 voltage regulator IC to make a 5 volt and the output have directly connected the piezo transducers and with this we are getting or I am getting the better sound quality than the previous model that without amplifier so I have already you know made that circuit or made this project so I will just show you ok 
Okay, so this is the circuit. Now this is the audio jack. We'll go to the phone. And uh, this is the stereo amplifier, the PAM8403 amplifier. As you can see, that is uh, all the connections are according to the circuit diagram shown. And this is the mm, nine volt battery. This is voltage regulator IC, and this is the five volt connections. Oh, the one connection is missing. So as you can see, this is a uh, two piezos. This is left and right. Act as a left and right speaker. So I'll just uh, shoulder out quickly. Okay, so I'm done with the soldering. So let's test the circuit. Uh, we'll connect the battery. Need a phone. Uh, okay, the Samsung phone is on recording, so I will use this Micromax phone. It was working with this phone also. Okay, so let's play some music. This music. This is the volume full? Yeah, yes, this is the volume full. Okay, I'm able to hear this little, little music music. I think you will also be able to hear this music. This is phone conduction speaker. Okay, so this is only one projector uh, which has three application. We can uh, use this project as a bone conduction speaker, as a bone conduction headphone and as well as a bone conduction band. So as you can, this is the speaker. So what is happening is that the pieces are vibrating and these vibrations are transferred to this uh, desk. And the desk particles are also vibrating and through this we are able to hear the music from all over the desk. So this is the science behind this. And uh, let's make this as a headphone. I will just turn to face of mine. Oh. Hello. Oh wow. It is so clear. And not only we can hear from this, we can hear uh, by placing this. Oh, the sound goes off. Okay, we are able to hear from this side also, and actually, we are able to hear if you place the speaker here. Yes, actually, I'm able to hear. So this whole skull acts as a resonating cavity. We get able to hear from the, this side also. Yeah, it is very clear from this side. From the back side also. So whole skull will act as a resonating cavity and you can hear the sound from anywhere because this actually vibrations are transferred to this cochlea and through cochlea we are able to hear the music. And the last application is the bone conduction band. So what is the science behind this band? We are placing this vibrating particle to this bone. So this bone vibrates and ultimately the vibrations are carried to the finger and through the finger we are able to hear. Yes, as I told in the previous video, they are able to hear from this eardrum but not able to hear from this. Because uh, this doesn't have enough power to vibrate. Yeah, this is the reason only. Uh, the vibrations are not, uh, what do you mean say? transfer from here to here but yes when I placed it here I'm able to hear from both inner ear and outer ear yes and yes I'm able to hear from both the sides so this is the bone conduction technology and uh, these are the application uh, of all these are the three application of this one project I'm sorry I'm not able to make any casing for any of the project because I'm not good at making casing but yeah I'm definitely good at making the proof of the concepts and this is the proof of concept bone conduction technology Hope you enjoyed this project and uh, if you make this, if you are making this project and if you are making the casing also, do tag me on your video. I will definitely love to watch that casing and will try to make that casing also. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this project. Till then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.